Alex, how did people get internet before 4G and 5G? Everyone born before about the year 2000 probably has memories of the old days where we used dial-up, right? We would use phone lines and you'd plug them into your computer and you'd have to get your mom to stop using the phone because you were taking it over to use the internet to dial into you know, AOL or whatever. And it was slow and we loved it. Yeah, I heard 0.3% of Americans were still using dial-up in 2017. Right, and 1.5 million Americans are still paying for AOL dial-up. Stop paying for AOL. When are we getting 6G? So these things come in generations. That's what the G stand for. So 2G was the first generation of cellular technology that supported a little bit of internet. And it was dial-up speeds and it was really slow. But you could, you know, do text messaging and little apps that, you know, sent you notifications. And 3G was the next generation that got us megabits of internet. You know, single digit megabits. But that was enough that you could actually have a web browser are on your phone it really changed people's lives and started thinking about what a smartphone could be. The next one was 4G and the winner there was LTE. This is the main cellular technology rolled out pretty much everywhere in the world. Now you can do tens of megabits. Supposedly you can do hundreds of megabits. I think I've only seen that once ever actually work. The carrier's networks aren't really that fast. And now there's 5G that's rolling out. It's in all the major cities and things. And it's supposed to be much faster, but I think mostly they're jamming a lot more users onto the band instead. But what about WiMAX? What's that? WiMAX stands for Worldwide Interoperability for Microwave Access. Say that five times fast. It was a 4G technology. It was competing against LTE to try to be 4G. Backed by companies like Intel, and it got pretty good speeds, you know, tens of megabits, just like LTE. For a while, there were services all over the place. There was clear in the United States, and I had one of those little USB dongles to give me internet on my laptop wherever I went. I thought it was pretty nifty. But most of those companies Companies have gone out of business. There are a few places where WiMAX is still being used in the world, but I, I think it's very much a legacy technology at these days. I also heard about another standard IP over avian carrier. Are birds powering the internet? So this was really a a joke, but they really built it, right? So these guys wrote a standard on, on you know how to implement IP the internet protocol, all these different physical things you can make the internet protocol work over. And once you do, it's just an internet connection. Well, a bunch of goofballs figured out how to implement the protocol by tying messages and, and you know, little memory cards to birds and having them fly back and forth. And in a very weird way, it kind of worked. The specs weren't amazing. It actually had a, something like 55% packet loss because sometimes the pigeons didn't go where they were supposed to go. I wouldn't give up my Verizon Fios <laughs> or my 4G connection for the carrier over pigeon. <laughs>